Hi everyone, welcome back. With the help of this Reno mod bus, it's amazing and endless what you can do with this DIY Arduino PLC board. In this video, we will interface our Arduino DIY PLC with SCADA BR and test the IOs of this lovely board. Let's get started. Kindly subscribe if you've not done that already and also press on the notification bell. This way you will always be notified whenever I upload new videos. Okay, to start with, let's create a project. So I open Visreno and then give it a name Arduino PLC underscore test. Click OK. Now I click on this to configure the board. We are using the nano board, so I select that and I'll look for the mod bus block. I drag and drop onto the canvas. Connect the input to the output of the serial and then the output to the input of the serial. Great. And I'll configure it quickly. I need to change the mod bus. This time I would like to use 115200. So I select 115200 and click OK. And now bring in our Modbus device. Connect it. Double click on it so I can configure it. And I'll click on the output. I come to this section so that I can add the equals. Sorry, this is the input so I can add the inputs. I add six of them. I move to the calls and then repeat the same procedure. I add six calls as well. Close this window and I'll move on and add the input register. I add a 16 bit sign integer and then we move to the holding register and also add a 16 bit element to the holding register as well great now let's wire it up quickly i send the inputs to the inputs of our board six of them and now move to the input register and send it to the analog input a0 now let's wire our calls I send the first call to the relay wire them up quickly I have more than six so I have to delete one I move to this section and then the delete the last call okay I now have six calls I look for an integer generator so we can connect to the holding register I connect it to this section and I move to and I move on and then bring in a clock generator and then connect it to the clock input and I configure the integer generator set it to a minimum of 0 and a maximum of 10 great we now do compilation and then upload onto our board select the port and then we can see upload ongoing Now 
I will test the board quickly using the Modbus test app. I set it up. Okay, just as we did in the previous. And this is the interface. I click on the connect. We can see it's connected. Now let's try and then manipulate the quotes. We can see the first call is on. I turn on the next call. And we can see everything is working fine. Great. Now let's move on to our main aim. Let's start SCADA BR. There's a description as to how to download and install this software below okay now I move to a web browser and then type in localhost the port number slash scada br forward slash great now we have the interface we have the user id which is admin and then we have the password admin as well click on login and then we have this interface okay I move on to the data source I move back to the alarm so that I can clear the alarms okay so back to data source and now select the interface protocol which is Modbus Syria and then click on new data source or add data source great I have this configuration interface and now specify a name for this data source Adreno underscore PLC this section I change it from a minute to five seconds that's a refresh or the update period everything remain the same I need to change the port to the port I have in my case is com4 change the board rate to 115200 and I'll click on save to save the data source Great. we now need to add our points We specify the name for the point which is relay one now our offset is zero so i click on save and move to the next that's going to be our relay two our offset is going to be one click on save and repeat this procedure for all six squares The offset will follow as such from 0 up to 5. Now move on and then add the input. So we have input 1. Now the I click on it again and add the next one. Input 2. Offset is 1. And then we need to change the data type. I need to repeat this for all six inputs as well. Great. I now add our registers. So first is our holding register. Change the data type to two bytes. And now add our input register. Also, select input register and change the data type. Great. I now need to activate all of them. So we click on them quickly to activate. And now move to this section. Click on save. And now activate the data source. And we can see we have our connection. Great. And now switch to the watch interface so I can add all the points to see their status so you need to click on each of them and we can see the data status of all our 
source we can see all is working fine okay with this working i'll now switch to the interface the graphical interface add a new graphic give it a name and now we can add our design okay i change this section to binary graphics click on this section click here and then assign our points to it move to the next and then i need to choose an image we use a motto to represent this off indicate blue and then on is green so first motto is added i need to add the nest so this is going to be our relay 2 we repeat the same for all our relays and we have six relays yes our final relay we add that one too as well zero is blue and then one is gray great we now move on change to now this is basically the relays we need to create a button that we can press to turn the relay on and off so i'll sign off to this section on and then we can see our first button is created okay i change this section quickly to mimic on and off so this is the button for our first relay i position this one here to create the button for our second relay i assign relay 2 to it save and then move to this section change the description this is on this section is off and then i change the dimension 40 and 100 click ok our second button is created i need to repeat this procedure for all six relays now we need to align to so our start alignment select each one and then align all of them correctly can stop the alignment apply alignment again and then this is the final work we move on and change to graphic again the binary graphics and now we can add our inputs this time we are going to use an led to represent our inputs so i choose this green for on and then dark color for the off i repeat for the next input and you need to repeat all this for all six inputs great we now need to assign the point to our holding register and then the input register So this is the holding register minimum is 0 max is 10 I need to take this section and then assign set point data type to it and this is how the icon looks like I click on save and then we have we can see the value within our set point we now create that for our holding register sorry for our input register max is 10 click save and then i choose a tank for this particular data type great i now click on save and then we have our interface now you can see if i click on the first you can see our relay coming on next third one fourth relay comes on fifth and then the seat relay working great 
I can now move in the rivers to turn them back off and we can see how easy it is to control. We can now test our inputs. We can see our values also coming in from the holding register. Now I apply 12 volts to the first input. We can see it's coming on, it's showing green. Apply to the next. We can see there is a bit of delay because of the five seconds update time. You can reduce that. I move to the next, the third one, it also comes on correctly. Indicating that it's working fine, we can see the status of our input right from the HMI or the SCADA interface. Now let's go off, turn off the data source by clicking on this section and modify the code a bit. So we move to Visrino. And now delete this section because I have no sensor connected to the analog input. And then assign this to the holding register so we can reach the value coming from the holding register. I download again, or oh sorry, upload to the board. We can see upload is successful. I switch back, turn on the data source so we can connect to the Modbus interface. And go back to the graphic interface. Now do a change, change this section to 10, it was 100. And we can see that the holding register value coming in, we can read the same value at the input register, indicating the tank level each time we get a value. Working great. So basically, with SCADA BR and this board, you can do a lot of projects out of this. Thank you for watching. See you in the next tutorial. Bye-bye.